Today I am excited to show you the easiest way to create a character and bring it to life in a video with different scenes. So let's get started. First, I will use Glyph to create our character using Flux Pro, as Glyph offers Flux Pro for free. So open this page from the link in the description. I created this workflow combining Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Flux Pro's newest version. You just need to enter the description of your character into this box. So I entered this prompt and clicked on Run Glyph. The workflow will then take your prompt, process it through Claude 3.5 to enhance the richness, color, and contrast, then generate the final image with Flux Pro in just a couple of seconds. Cool, isn't it? I will share the link to this workflow in the description so that you don't have to make it yourself. If you are interested in knowing how I created it, I will include a link to this video in the description. Next, we will use this image as the base image to quickly create consistent characters in different clothes and scenes. For this, I will use Flux Pulet. You can install it locally, but I will guide you through a free online method on Hugging Face. If you prefer a paid option, Flux Pulet is available on Replicate for 4.1 cents per run, which is quite affordable. In this tutorial, I will use Hugging Face, as it's totally free. First, we need to upload our base image. In the Upload section, click this icon to choose the image file you downloaded from Glyph and then click Open to upload it. Above the image box, you will find the prompt section. Here, you can enter a description for the hair, clothing, surroundings, and lighting to set the scene for your video. I will enter this prompt, including all the details like hair, clothing, background, and lighting. Now scroll down and you will find the settings where you can change the output image size. You can also adjust the guidance scale and the recommended value is between zero to four. Then by clicking this arrow, you can open a drop-down menu with a negative prompt box where you can list elements you don't want in the final image. When you are done, click the Generate button to start creating the image. Take a look at the stunning likeness and realism in this generated image. You can easily create different variations by adjusting elements like outfits, hairstyles, surroundings, and lighting. You can also add new elements, such as a colorful parrot, to bring even more life to the scene. You can watch this video if you want to learn more about Flux Pulet. That said, let's see how to turn these images into videos. I will start with Kling AI. Past few months Kling's free plan was not working, but they have now fixed the issue. After logging in, click on AI Video and select the Image to Video tab. Click on this box to upload the image you created in Flux Pulet. Below the Upload section, there is a prompt box where you describe the movement you want in your videos. For example, you could enter a woman walking towards the camera with an iPad on her hand. You may also leave it blank to let Kling AI decide the motion. Further down, you will find the Settings section where you can choose between a 5-second or a 10-second video duration. I will use the default setting. Next, there is a negative prompt box where you can specify what you don't want in your video. When you are ready, click the Generate button. And here are the results. If you are using the free version, generating a video can take up to an hour or two, so be prepared for some wait. And just look at the videos created by Kling. So that's it for this tutorial. Now it's your turn to experiment. Generating multiple variations with different clothing or lighting is easy. Just follow this tutorial. Share your thoughts on this video in the comments below and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.